guys, today I'll be reviewing the Saga SF700 Pro, which is a dreadnought cutaway acoustic guitar. Just so you know, this was sent to me by Saga for review, so this is a sponsored video. So don't take that as your usual review, but I still get to say whatever I want. And anyway, I encourage you to really make your own opinion by just listening to how it sounds. And of course, taking the look into consideration because that's definitely one big aspect when purchasing a guitar. So let's start with an unboxing. The guitar comes into a decent gig bag that will protect the guitar quite nicely. There is some documentation included as well as some tools to make adjustment if you needed to. Visually, the guitar looks really good in my opinion. It's a natural color with a glossy finish for the body of the guitar and a satin finish for the neck. It's got a solid spruce top, which is incredible at this price point, and the back and sides are laminated sapele. Fingerboard is rosewood, which is pretty standard here. The neck is really a selling point on that guitar. I think it makes playing very comfortable. For those of you who have never experienced the difference between a satin and a glossy neck, basically the satin necks allow you to slide more smoothly without having this friction caused by the polish, and it also works better when you start sweating for those long playing sessions. The tuner seems to hold the tune pretty well even in this Australian weather. In terms of sound, the dreadnought shape, which is on the larger size, should give you more uh, of a warm and larger projection in theory. And it should be very good for strumming both with a pick and without a pick. But let's put that to the test, shall we? So what did you think of the sound? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Personally, I think that for the price under $200, it's a great instrument, very hard to beat in terms of having a solid top, particularly. It reminds me a little bit of my first ever guitar, which was a Yamaha, similar price point. It didn't have solid wood at all, but it was sounding pretty good as well. 
Uh, the only big difference for me was the feel. I really, really like that satin neck. That's a, a huge selling point. I've said that before, but that's a huge selling point, particularly when I look back at some of my acoustic guitars that did not have that. I also really like the aesthetics of this guitar, which is very standard, uh, very basic, but it just works. Um, that's kind of what you expect from an acoustic guitar, nothing over the top nothing missing really and the finitions are pretty good so I mean at that price point you couldn't really ask for more so really good here as well so this guitar would be very well suited for beginners of course which is I think the target audience the guitar would make a great gift for teenagers particularly in my opinion if you have kids uh, and you're not sure whether they would stick with the guitar and you don't want to commit and spend four to five hundred dollars on a nicer instrument this is definitely something to consider, is very affordable but also decent quality. Uh, you know that your kid will be able to play and improve on an instrument like that and whenever they're ready and they feel like they've you know, surpassed the guitar, uh, they can purchase something better. Now keep in mind that this body shape might not be suitable for small kids. I would say under 10 to 11 years old, probably kids would be too small to have their arms reach the sound hole. In that case, I would recommend you buy something like a, a half size guitar or a three quarter, which will be suited for those kids. So I said this instrument's mostly for beginners, but I think intermediate and advanced guitar players might find also um, some interest in cheaper guitars, at least I do. And I always uh, am happy to have a second instrument that's much cheaper than my uh, better ones. Uh, so I can bring them around. So for example, you know, if you go to a party, you go to play on the beach or wherever that's outside of your home and you don't really want to risk damaging a thousand dollars plus guitar, then having something like that is great in my opinion because it still sounds really good and people won't really notice the sound difference, uh, especially at a party. And I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about. So I'll leave it here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you'd want to see next on the channel and I'll see you in the next one.